Hey, what is up, my guys? We're getting into a epic deck list to roast today. An official Konami Dark Magician deck list. I cannot wait to roast this. But before we get into it, I'd just like to thank Rusian, I believe it is. I'm probably butchering that. Uh, but thank you to Rusian for the suggestion. Um, he just left me a comment on one of my videos mentioning this. And wow, what a, what a great deck it is. Um, also, could I get everyone watching to go down and smash that subscribe button? It would really help me out, and if you want to drop a like too, that'd be sweet. Alright, without further ado, we're going to get into roasting. The official Dark Magician Konami decklist. Let's go through. Three Magician Souls, which is a great start, but then followed up by two Dark Magician Girl. Now, there, there isn't a world where you'd ever fathom playing more than one, and, you know, even when you're playing one, it's, it's a sad time. <laughs> Uh, next we've got three Dark Magicians, so just off the bat in the first line we've got five bricks. So yeah, I'm really not approving of this ratio here, it should definitely be one DMG and at least, at least two Dark Magician, especially in this deck. Unless you're running like Pot of Desires, you don't need three Dark Magician. Magician's Rod is at three, and thank god for that, because you're gonna need it. Apprentice Illusion Magician at three, this makes a bit of sense, and I guess you could say it validates the three Dark Magician. It still is just an awful amount of bricks. Speaking of bricks, we get into Mahad next, two of them for some reason, because one wasn't enough. Uh, it's weird that they don't have mana in here when they're clearly just playing double ups of all the bricky cards. Really strange they wouldn't just play mana. Uh, just, you know, they may as well play all four of them at this point. And then just one random illusion of chaos. Sorry, Magician of Dark Illusion, I always get its name wrong. So yeah, like, this card was good when it came out, and it's good in Duel Links. I don't think it's that great anymore. You could play it if you wanted. No one really cares about it, though. Next, we've got Three Circle. I mean, hell, in this deck, you might actually add off it. <laughs> Eye of Tamias at two. Uh, it's an interesting number, because I always consider, like, if you're gonna play I, you can't search it, so you gotta play it at 3, but then it's a brick, so you wanna play it at 1. But 2 actually probably is the right number to play this card at. Ironically, but also just don't play this card. Um, Soul Servant at 3. That's awesome, that's the best part of this deck. Besides Magician Souls and Rod, Soul Servant at 3 is the best part of this deck. I don't think Salvation needs to be anywhere... Above two. Two is like the maximum you'd ever play this card at, I feel. Unless like something crazy changes in the deck. One Dark Magic Attack, sure. One Bonds and one Dark Burning. I actually like Bonds and Dark Burning because this deck has nothing going for it. Like there's no Dragoon. So Bonds and Dark Burning is like your go-to play turn one. The problem with that is they're also playing Dark Burning Attack, which is just unnecessary. Like you're always going to go for Dark Burning Magic. One Secrets, sure. Thousand Knives, absolute garbage. Dark Burning Attack, garbage. Two Eternal Soul, that's fine. Two Navi, and eh, not anymore. I mean, this is a more traditional build. You probably could play the Navis, I guess. One Destined Rivals and one Combination. I really like Combination. I just wish it was a little better. I wish it, how it swaps between Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. I wish it did it from deck, hand, graveyard. But instead, it's just graveyard, which is really awkward. All right, extra deck. I can't wait to roast this because it starts with two Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, which... It's just so bizarre to me, like, in what world would you ever summon this once, let alone twice? With no Dragoon, I auto to Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, even though there's no good way to summon it, especially in this build, it's just Eye of Tomias and Magician Souls. But you could also say Dark Calvary is kind of the boss monster here. Man, all these boss monsters are, like, kind of old and shit at this point. Like, Dragoon just outclasses every one of these, and it's easier to summon than all these fusions. That's that's the really weird part about this deck. Like, we have so many fusions that are decent, but we just can't afford to get there for, like, three resources. And by three resources, I mean secrets, plus the card used to fuse them, you know, the two cards. It's just, we, we can't, we, no one's got time for a three-card fusion in 2022. Ebon Illusion Magician. Like, this is a decent XYZ, don't get me wrong, but like, why is this extra deck built like you're playing X-Trap? Why is there just multiple copies of everything? Like, this is the stupidest extra deck I've ever fucking seen. I understand Konami probably just made it as like a template, just... Maybe they're gonna sell this as like a, a, a default Dark Magician deck. They probably will, they're probably gonna hand out like really shitty based deck bases to newer players, you know? And this is what they're gonna look like, they're gonna be this level of bad. But you know, if they were selling this for like 10 to 20 bucks, it's probably worth it to pick up this core and then just, you know, change it. Not bad at all, um, considering like, if it was a starting deck, you know, don't get me wrong, this is a terrible list. Three Black Lost Assault, like, you only ever need one of this card, like, they could have at least improvised and taken like, one or two of these out and just put in something else, dark, like, like, um, they could have put in Naruto. 
the uh, XYZ that's a level 6 spellcaster. That would have been a cool addition here because it can rank up into Ebon. But no, they went with 3 Black Luster Soldier. Like, what the hell? It's weird because to me this screams like it's an OCG list because there's no Dragoon. But there's no Illusion of Chaos either. So I'm like, what is this list? It's like um, a TCG list just with no Dragoon. Like, this is the worst list I could possibly have thought of. Wow, I finished making the list and it was honestly painful. So yeah, if you want to see me run test hands of this build, uh, let's get this video to 100 likes. If we can do that, easy. I'll upload uh, a nice little test hand vid and we can all cry together. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time.